Today we're here at Happy Goat Lucky Farm, kind of a standard New Mexico rangeland. Not a great area of the farm. And we're here for a fence line contrast. We've got water infiltration tests going on. Uh, we had 1.35 inches of rain after a drought for uh, three months, no rain and less rain than we'd prefer prior to that. Basically no uh, snow to talk of this winter. So we're using a soil probe here to see what length we've got. We've got the soil probe and we've got it pushed into a 10 inch mark here next to this uh, perennial grass. Push it in again, bring it out, put it next to the measuring tape and it's coming out at about ten and a half inches right there. And then we're going to try it up against a couple of bare ground spots here and much less infiltration rate is at five and a half inches right here. So ten and a half versus five and a half where we got some nice perennial roots versus a bare ground spot. Gonna hit another bare ground spot right here and taking it out, bringing it over the tape measure. And that one we got eight and a half on the uh, bare ground. So getting some variation, of course, we've got the uh, mineral cyclers of the gophers that can make a difference on what is bare ground infiltration versus a uh, perennial grass. Do one more. Here we go. That one's about three inches, I'm going to guess, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, four and a half, actually. So, four and a half inches on that one. So let's go to the neighboring side and see what we get there. Here we are on the neighbor's side. This is um, set stock, conventional grazing with cattle. So pretty much a grama grass dominated uh, landscape. And uh, it's grazed during the growing season and the cattle are taken off. Uh, you can see the fence line, Happy Goat Lucky Farm on the other side, uh, holistically planned grazing uh, with uh, lighter animals, um, uh, goats uh, grazing in small paddocks for a short amount of time and then full year recovery more or less depending on the year. So now we're going to do some uh, soil probes here, gonna push down. We've got a pretty good one on that one. Let's see here. It's uh, seven and a half ish on that one. And now we're going to go over here and pull that up. And we've got about three, maybe three and a quarter on that one and trying one here I can't even actually get it into the ground on this one it's like half an inch no, three quarters of an inch and another one at three quarters of an inch or an inch and let's go over here a little bit. Uh, about the same. One inch. I'm going to guess that 
in there. Yep, that, that's more like two and a half inches. Yeah, back three, three inches. So we're getting a lot less infiltration. Another one here at about an inch and maybe, yeah, inch and a half. So uh, a lot less infiltration going on here with a, uh, a lot less carbon being grown versus walking over to the fence line. And while we have a poor paddock with a fair amount of bare ground on this side, we do have some uh, longer perennial grass roots allowing for greater water infiltration than on the uh, grama grass mat here on the other side. Now we're in the uh, riparian area, so you're seeing more carbon. This is the Happy Goat Lucky side. This is a little um, ephemeral stream that uh, had some water running in it because of that 1.35 inches of rain. So we're going to take a look at uh, what happened in terms of water absorption down here where there's uh, opportunity for more water. So we're pushing in the uh, point, and I realize I'm going to need to get this longer since we really got a good push in there. So here we are with the probe, and we're going to pull it up, and we got. 28 inches on this probe here. <clears throat> Try another spot, really no bare ground here. That felt like it hit a rock or something, so I'm gonna try. There we go. Uh, let's see what we got on this one. Looks like 26. 25 rather on that one. We'll go up hill a little bit away from the it feels like a gopher hole, so we'll skip that one. <clears throat> I think this might be the best one yet. Yep. Yeah. 30 33 and a half inches. -ish. So now we'll pause and go to the other side and see. So here we are on the other side of the fence, conventional stocking, and uh, you can see definitely more forage down here in this riparian area, but you also notice a lot more woody brush encroachment and a lot more bare ground as we move the camera towards the upstream side. So, not looking quite so good across the entire riparian area as we saw on the other side. But, we do have the water was running through here too. So we're pushing down, seeing what we can get for infiltration. And, pretty good here. We got uh, 16 inches, but not the same as 35 inches. So let's see what else we can get in a couple of areas. We're gonna, and got 20 inches that time, and 19 inches. So we're still, obviously it's great. You got water sitting and running through this area. So it's definitely improved dramatically from uphill, but still not performing at the same level as across the fence. So we're uh, 60 feet uphill from the riparian area, but not as far uphill, which was past where you can see here, where we started out. So we're going to see how we do at 60 feet 
from the epicenter, so to speak, of the moisture. And looks like four and a half on that one. But it looks like five and a half on that one. And seven and a half on that one. Okay, we're, so we're uh, 60 feet uphill on the happy-go-lucky side, and let's see what we get here. It uh, looks like 16 for that one, and 15 for that one. And 13 for that one. So, just as a quick average, call it 14 versus, uh, as an average, versus the uh, 8 to 10 inch. So again, more uh, infiltration on the happy-go-lucky side. So here you can see the water coming through that riparian area. We just got another 1.65 inches of rain and the pond is filling up and the frogs are happy.